きらめく太陽カラフルな階段魂震わせるリズムこれは祭りか祭りなのかならば三番が来る白鳥もアイドルも燃え尽きるまで踊るがいいにゃ燃えないけど私冷たいままだし美しく奏でられる音があるならどこだろうと氷のステージを作ってあげるけど何かしらあの猫のような生き物侮れないステップねおお皆さん驚き十分ですねじゃじゃんではではここぞとばかりに即興のライブですアイドルレベルの高まりを感じるとびきりホットなセッションとなる予感Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. We're in the Water Monster Crisis event. I did a little bit of grinding,、uh, mainly that I got、uh, one of the、uh, Scrimblo Up、uh, craft essences. So I'm excited for that. And let's move on to section two the Prying Priests. I also did look up because I was curious. I'm like, is this one where you get the,、um, the Welfare Servant at the end? And yes, it is. So that means we don't have to worry about that.、Uh, we can just focus on. Playing through. I did 10 10 10 my,、uh, my Trung sisters. So I'm excited for that. We can now use them even more. Ooh. Yo. We're going to listen to some Celtic woman as we swim down the river. That's one for the channel old heads. Some of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Endless Ocean 3 real, baby! I think we should start here, especially since it's near the village. Fine with me. Starting close to home is always, almost always a good choice. It's easy to defend and attack from so close. I heard a little bit about this earlier, but it sounds like this is. Woo, it sounds like、uh, the kind of merfolk in this area aren't the kind Master saw when he first got here. That's right. There are several different kinds of sea monsters here, water monsters. Usually, only one species emerges from the fog at a time, and so far, it's been a different species each time. The merfolk you saw are the only kind we've seen across all the islands, so there could be some here too. But I think most of the ones we'll find here are from a different species. Like we mentioned earlier, these new water monsters look more like humans than the merfolk did. And for some reason, the Khan's finishing moves didn't work on them, even though they don't even have scales. On top of that, they also use a mysterious technique to strengthen themselves. Those two factors have kept us from being able to do anything about them, so we've had no choice but to leave this area alone. Got it. Putting aside that enhancement technique for now. Or, yeah, enhancement. Not enchantment. Gotta, be, gotta see if there's a C there. Since we don't have much information about it, let's go over what Haibu. Ha. Ooh. Haiba Trung have already told us about these monsters' external characteristics. As a resident genius artist, I whipped up a sketch of them based on the sisters' description, and it looks like they're dressed in Japanese clothing. Are we. Are they Kappa? And so. So, that is why you called on us. Hopefully, either my spear or my Buddhist chants can send them to the afterlife. And since I've already come all this way, I'll see if they can do just that. So shiny and smooth! Are you one of us? Indeed, I suppose we are, in a sense. <laughs> Will you take this seriously? We're deep in enemy territory here, you know. We're supposed to be on our guard here. My, my, you're so serious. No, shut up. We're not doing this. You, you're so serious, you Min Nyang Nyang Nyang? Okay, goddess of the underworld. Why do you feel the need to rush on ahead? The whole reason we brought these monks along was that they could leave this sort of fieldwork to them. Maybe so, but that doesn't mean I can just stand around in the back twiddling my thumbs.、Uh, your earnestness is one of your best virtues, Arash Kigal. You really think so?、Uh, I mean, I'm just a natural go getter. I couldn't stop being that way even if I wanted to.、I'm、definitely not doing this for your praise, that's for sure. In fact, I can't imagine why you'd ever think otherwise. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Come on,、uh, I cannot read this fast enough. Now that we know what these monsters look like, let's not waste any more time tracking them down. Oh! Oh, they're following along penguin style! That's adorable. When did you teach these creatures that trick? 
Chie Wunu? Penguin dancer. Well, I'm not about to let you undo me. Oh no. Maybe I will teach them how to use my torture implements. Once we get back, please don't. Th that's a terrible idea. So, I was, when I saw this sprite, I'm like, she kind of thick, right? And then I saw fan art that people started drawing of the torturer. And yeah, yeah, um, bless. Bless. At first I thought they were meant to be grannies, but then you look carefully and you're like, no, they're not. They just have white hair. There, that's it. Oh. Uh, that is indeed Japanese clothing. And what's more, he seems to be dressed like a monk. No matter. Anyone can look like a monk if they put on a kisa robe and chant a Buddhist prayer or two. But it is what's on the inside that counts. Allow me and my Jumonji spear to find out exactly what this monk imposter is truly made out of. What if you just killed a guy? What if what if that was just a guy who was on the islands and he just killed someone? Oh my, what brilliant spearmanship. That's kind of you to say, if a little embarrassing. But unfortunately, that didn't quite go how I expected. <laughs> go! Wait, what? Riddle me this. I have both two legs and eight. My residence is both impenetrable and mobile, and I can change it whenever I please. What am I? Ah! Oh! Oh, okay. Huh? Don't you remember? They said the cons attacks don't work in these things. Well, I'm at it. I'm guessing that was their technique for enhancing themselves. It's almost sound, it sounds like they're asking us a question. Riddles. Monk's attire. Where have I heard this sort of thing before? You know what this sort of thing, Benke? Yes, Master. Look, there's a new one over there. Let's go take a closer look. We'll keep this one busy. Right now we need all the information we can get. We'll do our best to find a way past your defenses. Good luck. I'm in your debt. Riddle me this. I have two legs and eight. My residence is both impenetrable and mobile. I can change it whenever I please when I'm a spider. I've got it. The answer is a hermit crab. I don't think so. Is it? Wait. Two legs and eight. Oh, I guess they have two. I guess they have two arms a spider. They're not legs, right? Okay. Now, let us see what you really are, water monster. Ha! Is it just gonna be dudes? I wonder what this is. I'm trying to think of any myth I recognize about, like, a water... A water-based, like, sphinx type. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this team can, can do good stuff. Um, actually, does this give extra attack? Uh, NP at 30%. It, Amount one up each. Arts and quick up. I'll give that to you. Sure. Uh, then we'll give that to you. Okay. I did not get any of the uh, five star craft essences, but it's fine. It's fine. Grinding on my own is uh, easy enough to do. So what is it? Is it going to be a kappa that is in the style of the, the ghoul? No, it's just a thing. You have a lot of HP. Refuted. Defense down. Debuff resist up. Okay, well, that's good at least. Do you have one that gives stars per chance? I think... No, okay. Oh, let's just do this. I get this on you. Uh, you have skill seal, sure. Target focus increased defense, sure. MP seal, sure. You're just throw them all on, huh? All right. Oh, big defense down. Of course, with this event being one that you need to be quite far in the story, it makes sense that you wouldn't just be able to immediately do these, you know. 
they're they're not made for you know early encounters that's a new one okay oof all right let's finish this off how much? 83, okay. Are you gonna, what are you? Oh, you're... Crab. Surprise. It was crab all along. Are we gonna reveal that this is actually like, we race shipped it to the future, and these are what became of humans? Because everything evolves into crabs eventually. Oh my god, crab sprite! What is that thing? That is their true nature. These creatures are hermit crab monsters. They are said to wander the lands of Japan, posing riddles while dressed as monks and killing any who cannot answer. Huh, that's new. Didn't know about that myth. Wonder if Monster Hunter took from that with the hermit sores. A variant of the crab monk yokai. Wait, then these are cra hermit crab monks? There has to be a better name for them. Okay, it's great that we know what they are now, but what do we do about all of them? Seems they have no need to hide now that they... Uh, seems they need... Ah! It appears they see no need to hide what they are now that we've answered their riddle. That must be why some of them are already in their shells. And no wonder. They know the Khan can never hurt them through those shells, no matter how much we may, we may weaken them. Then what if we broke their shells open? What would that do? You want us to not only weak them as much as possible, but also break open their shells without damaging their insides. I, who mastered the Hozoan style, should be able to manage that, but what about the rest of you? Do you think you could execute such an intricate attack? Nope. I'm afraid my spear technique is more about brute strength than precision strike, so... I'm afraid I alone won't be able to break, break, crack open so many shells. Fact is, this is a war... S the, uh, why is reading so tough today? The fact is... This is a war, small though the scale of it may be, and it is one that the Khan themselves need to fight. So it may be that the Khan need to deal the final blow by piercing the crab shells and striking their exposed weak point. Unfortunately, answering the riddle might remove the enchantment, but enhancement, oh my god, I'm like out of it today, what's going on? Was my coffee like spiked with chill relaxing drugs? I don't know. But it doesn't do anything about their shells. And the Khan just don't have the strength to break through them. Which means the only option we have is... And I guess we have no choice but to retreat for the time being. Yep. As they say, those who fight and run away live to fight another day. Retreat is our best option here. I expect you all the same thought as well. However, whether this is... Whether or not this is what the Buddha would do, I can't say as I'm still in training. Huh. Maybe we'll give them, like, bottle openers, like wine cork decorkers, right? And they can just stab them. Or maybe we train them to use, like, an ice pick from an, from an assassin. All right, what are we doing with them? I think our only option is arming the Khan. Just the idea of giving them weapons is so funny. I agree. That does seem to be the best answer, yes. Mm, is this what the Buddha would want? To give weapons to innocent beings such as these? Ah, then again, I carry a weapon myself, so I suppose I'm in no position to talk. <laughs> Even the most docile of herbivores will fight tooth and nail to escape being eaten. It's too bad turtles don't have any teeth. Shall I carve some pointy dentures for you, then? I'm quite good at making vicious tools of that sort. At any rate... It would seem that that is indeed our only option if they are going to survive. What you talking about? We're talking about how we can help you all and all the other con. This way, they'll be able to protect themselves, but at the cost of what makes them... them. Are we okay with that? You're right. Even if this is what they have to do to survive, I don't want to force them. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do? I don't want to get eaten. Unless I say it's okay. Yo, me too. That's why I have all that art of me and Barghest. I want to play more. I want to sunbathe. 
What about you, boss boss? Hmm? What would make you happy? Well, I wouldn't say it's about happiness. But if you were all eaten and there weren't any of you left, I think I would be very sad. We still don't know exactly what you are. We don't know what kind of connection we have, if any. But what we do know is, now that we've met, now that we know the joys of laughing together, I don't want to lose what we have. Maybe it's the same as what happened when I was alive. I couldn't abide by how things were, so I made a stand to try and change them, even though I knew I wasn't strong enough. I didn't have a choice. I knew it'd be dangerous. I knew it would put everyone I cared about in danger, but even so... It sounds like she's remembering the rebellion she and her sister started. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry for getting off track. Never mind me, my point is... I'll do it! Huh? I'll fight! We've already been fighting back. Now we'll just hit them with tools instead of our bare hands, right? Hear that, sister? They're on board. Sometimes people know nothing's going to change unless they fight. That's why we decided to make you our king. And follow you wherever you decide to go. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay then, let's go on ahead with a plan to arm the Khan. No objections here. At this point, that does seem to be like the only viable option. Fortunately, we also have servants who excel at item construction. So we shouldn't run into any trouble using this island's unique resources to make weapons the Khan can use. The only question is now, what exactly do we make? Khan are very good with their hands, so they should be able to use any kind of weapon we give them. Especially if they only need to deal the final blow to weakened enemies. So, what shall we make? Good question. I've never armed my Galu spirits, so I don't have many ideas. The only weapons a star, are, a star and our backup dancers need are beauty and glamour. I know, torture instruments like saws and such. She is joking, right? No clue. Who knows how empresses think? We overheard the whole thing. Who? Looks like this is a job for me. <gasps> it's you. Who? Is it Emya? It's not Emya. Oh, hi, say Shonagon. Okay. God, you are in... I feel like out of all the new servants who get added, I feel like say Shonagon is the one that, like, has become a main character the most. The first meeting of the What Do We Arm the Con Cons With Coalition is in now in session. Oh, come on, you too. Oh... Uh, wh why are you doing this, Nagiko? Uh, it's a long story, but the short version is... It seemed like fun! Yeah, I should've seen that coming. Alrighty, let's get started, shall we? First up, question time! What kind of weapon do you recommend for a rank amateur? I would suggest a katana. A long sword. They are the weapon of true warriors. The more you swing one, the more of a warrior you'll become. So I'd recommend the long sword. Of course... If you decide to make long swords, then mother will come help however she can. Yeah, but long swords, uh, if you're if you have too many people using long swords, they can make each other trip, and uh, then the monsters come after us, so we don't want that. Oh my. Is she your mother? No, but she's my mommy, you know what I'm saying? Nice. <laughs> These are really funny options. For all intents and purposes, yes. Okay, everyone's all warmed up now, yeah? Let's move on to the next guy. Now, in the interest of time, let's keep your answers short and sweet. What weapon do you recommend for begin- Short. 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 Short! Okay, who's this? Oh. Sparta! Hello! If you want to arm every last soldier, then the spear is your only choice. I know I may seem like a meek intellectual, but I did actually lead 300 Spartans in a battle against the Persian army, so I'm very used to fighting with small forces. Of course, each one of my Spartan soldiers was equal to a thousand ordinary ones, but that doesn't at all detract from the unparalleled existence of the spear, excellence rather. They're easier to use than swords when fighting in an army, and they're safer for people inexperienced in combat. For one thing, they're perfect for keeping your distance from the enemy. As long as you can thrust and swing, even inexperienced fighters can achieve some degree of success in battle. And as a bonus, if you should choose spears, then I, of course, will come join you as well. 
I will then mold even your squishy soldiers into Spartans with physiques most gloriously muscular. I shall make them into first-class soldiers. One must fight if one is to survive, so fight they shall. Man, you Spartans really are something else. I might even have to take lessons from you two at some point. And finally, let's hear what this last person has to say. Uh, I probably should have thought this before calling you, but do you, do you have any weapons you'd recommend for beginners? Wait, can we wait? Can we give them church weapons? Hold up, wait. You wish for my opinion? I'm honored to be here, but I'm afraid I only have an inkling of an idea when compared to your other two experts' sheer passion. Oh my god, wait, hold out, wait, 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 I want to make them into executioners! That keys are quite difficult to wield. It took me a considerable time to master them. My suggest- <gasps> Wait, what? We doing Melty? Oh my god. Oh my god. My suggestion is the Pile Bunker. It is both simple and effective way for defeating enemies who are protected by tough shells. And most importantly, it's- it's just cool. Oh, oh, you're right. Hell yeah. He gets it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we doing this? Are you here, master? I need to talk to you about the dig site. Hold it. Was that? All right. I know what to do. I shall brew a batch of the memory racing poison and make that saint drink a gallon of it. Oh, because the you saw the helmet. Okay. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Great job all around. So, now that we've heard a number of opinions, have you set on a weapon you think will work best? Each one has its strengths and weaknesses, so it's really up to you to what you prefer, Chan Miss. All right, I'm going to wrap this up by handing the baton off to our collective Kohai. Go on and sum things up. Huh? Okay. Uh, um. Well, as Sei Shonagon put it, we have options now, and I know it may be difficult to choose. But in the end, Master, I think you're the only one who can make this decision. If you can't seem to make up your mind, uh, you could also base your decision on how much of any given material we've acquired so far. Okay, that's all we have to say. I look forward to seeing what weapon you choose, Master. I mean, I, there, there's only one option I can choose. You mean to tell me we can give them the powered CL pile bunker? We got Nanako in this game? What? I mean, they're going to be... What if they're full size? Oh my god, hold up. Let's give them pile bunkers. What are we at for this? Oh, we just have enough. Perfect. Yeah. The following unselected quest will disappear. Bit of a shame, but uh, there's the reset so we can see the alternates later, I guess. Are they voiced by the same guys as Voyager? I think so. They have the same sort of tone. Oh my god! Wait! Seven! Nanako! Seven? This is super duper cool! I'm so strong now! Oh my god, this is amazing. I only built these devices according to Lady Da Vinci's schematics. You can make... pile bunkers? But I'm pleased to see they work as intended. It's an honor to be of service. Where is that red cloaked fool? <laughs> he's not here. He didn't say he'd join us. He's not. No, he's not. Amakusa said he only offered a suggestion for the weapons to use. As far as their actual creation operation, we asked other servants familiar with machines and technology for help. With Galatea as their head to handle the construction. So I don't think Amakusa will have any reason to come here himself. <sighs> Why would he refuse to come? He has experience leading armies into battle, too. Oh, wait, perhaps he is bothered by the fact that he lost his key battle? Mm, how boringly sentimental of him. Uh, are you here because you're going to help us, too? I would like to, but my current contract with the Master only exists to resource procurement. And as luck would have it, I just happened upon a site of sturdy bedrock that will take some time to conquer. And so I bid you farewell. Um, why did she even come here, then? Maybe she was hoping to run into a certain someone. Oh my, I'm not sure who you mean, but that sounds like a lovely story. I'd love to hear more about it from her over tea someday. Then again, I've never had tea with an empress before. She might, might not care for my company. 
Don't let her intimidate you, sister. Don't forget, you're a king too. Master, I've confirmed that the devices are all working as intended. The Khan can depart whenever they wish. Great! Let's get going! I cannot believe we got freaking... Yo, can I quarter circle BC with them? Can I do the... Pa -pa 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 -pow and then a huge hit into the sky? I... That's wild. And the wilder thing is now that, like, now that we're here, like, Tsukihime Remix coming out in English officially. Like, we're here. We're at the point where now this is going to be like a, oh, look at this thing, right? I guess Melty was already, but still. Anyways, the battle to reclaim area one. Unfortunately, we might have to do a, a reset because the time is going to flip over in just a second. But it's fine. If it does, it does. We can hit that skip button. You there! Show your true selves, hermit crabs! We're all in position, and most of the enemies have revealed their true forms. Indeed, all that remains now is for us to weaken them. Now that the Khan are armed, we shouldn't have to worry too much about breaking the shells for them. We need to weaken these enemies to the point the Khan can finish them off with one blow, yes? Can you all manage that? Of course, I've got this. Totally, no problem. <laughs> Naturally. Do you not know who you're speaking to? If I'm given sufficient time, I can do a most excellent job tormenting them without killing them. Utterly monomaniacal. <laughs> By the way, I was able to grab some data from your last battle. And since I knew what we'd be doing for this one, I used it to write a support program that'll display enemies' remaining vitality numerically. I think it'll make your job of weakening them without killing them way easier, since it'll sound alarm when they're near death. I see. That should make it easier to focus without focus on fighting them without worrying about accidentally finishing one off. Da Vinci saves the day again. <sighs> okay, it's time to take back what's ours. A second time for us. This time we're gonna win. Okay, and hopefully we we don't actually have to worry about not bringing down their HP because that would actually suck for these battles. I don't think it would be. Uh, so we got Galatea as a guest. Um, do you have 50% attack bonus? If you do, that might not be bad. Plus one, you have a 100% attack bonus though. Yeah, you're, you're just better for that. This team will go hard. All right, well, let's do this. I mean, yeah, if you, if you give me a character with a 100% attack up, it's, it's worth two people. Literally, especially if they're a five star. Okay, crab battle. Seven of them. Support program. Prevents disappearing after incapacitating. Perfect. Works for me. Anyways, um, we do not have a full combo. We'll just do this here. Nice, you're done. Okay, breaking claws. Okay, another crab. Mm, blues here, so you know, let's go. Uh, let's just hold off. Let's go one, two, three. Okay, trying to get these because these will help. Okay. I do wonder what how much you get on your own uh, battery is. Let's see here. Uh, how much you get now? Ooh, real close, huh? Okay, let's just do this. Because then we can go... Do this, we'll do this, we'll go... One, two, three, right? Then we'll hopefully get a bunch back on the second hit there. And that does give Buster up. Okay. Wow, they have very exposed backs. I did not realize that about their design. At all. Wow. I thought they had more clothing on, on their backs. That opened a bit of my eyes a bit. 
just 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 a smidge. Um, let's go one. Uh, no, on you. One, two, three. Okay. So, because this will even power up then. Like, we get arts up, which then affects the last hit, right? Because it takes from all three, if I'm correct. Like, it, it uh, Buster, Arts, and Quick Up affect the extra hit, regardless. Okay. Um, we do have a full combo with you. Yep. Alright, and then... Good. Boy, you are going for them. Okay, let's go. Uh, one, two. No, nah, this probably won't kill. Let's just go one, two, like that. Right, kill you and then move on to the first guy. Yeah, you really don't realize how how little they're wearing on their backs from the front at all. I think this one is my favorite design. I just broke the arm of my chair again. It just fell. Oh, that's not fun. I lean on it way too hard, and it's a chair that I put together myself. So, no wonder it fell apart there. I'm gonna need to screw that back in. Oh, I gotta sit up now. Oh, that's lame. I don't have my... I don't have my, my, my screw, my screwdriver that I normally keep with me. Dang it, that's annoying. Anyways, what's not annoying is that bond up. Thank you. Screwdriver, where are you? I'm looking around my desk. Oh no. I need a new chair. Got a cheap one that looked cool, didn't realize, hey, don't do that. Get an actual good one instead. You know what? I was going to say we'll stop here, but, uh, to, well, I fix it, but it's fine, because what we can do is I'll, uh, it's going to end anyways after this because of the time. Looks like that was the last of them. We freed all the con they ate. We won? No, we won big. We won? Oh, thank goodness. That's right, sister. We did it. We took this area back. Yeah. Way to go, everyone. I don't know what to say. You figured out the identities of these water monsters and gave the Khan weapons to defeat them. You did all the hard work. We never would have been able to do this without your help. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love a good show of gratitude. It's not as if there were any chance of you failing since the goddess of the underworld herself came all the way here to help. In fact, I've always been better at cultivating land than building a nation. It won't be long now. Soon, my dream of a stage where Leviathans and Khan dance beside me in perfect tandem will be a reality. Now, that'll be something to look forward to, don't you think? I'm glad Bank and I were able to be of some help in this. Indeed. I was surprised to see variants of crab monks here, though. Are we anywhere near the coastal waters of Japan? I wish I could say, but we still can't get a fix on the Singularity's position. Even at night, a thin layer of cloud cover prevents us from checking constellations, and the topography isn't helping either. Oh well, I'm sure we'll figure it out sooner or later. Besides, this is only the first step. We still have a lot to do. Exactly. This was a great victory, but we've only recovered a relatively small part of the island. Most remains under the water monster's control. I'm sure it'll take us some time, but I'm hoping we can use the land we've reclaimed as a stepping stone for our next campaign. So there's still other water monsters out there that need to, need to be defeated, huh? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. All these con, all the con these hermit crabs ate have come back, right? Yeah. I don't expect that weird rule about Khan having to deal the final blow is going to change. So once we have more of them, that should give us a proportional advantage. Uh, maybe. Yeah, the Khan aren't going to be of any help in battle, no matter how many of them there are. We're really just talking about making dealing the final blow easier. Which means we'll, in turn, focus our role on preparing the way to keep these things easy. Now that we've recaptured this area, we may be able to find new places to collect resources as well. I'll continue to make sure you have a lineup of servants ready to be deployed when needed. In the meantime, let's solidify our position here and make preparations to advance to the next area. And...
and the data update, it's going to say, oh, wait, wait, no, we're still going. This new development may be an unexpected one. We will never run out of bait nor creatures to feed on them. The cultivation will continue. Oh. Oh, it's a little spooky. There it is. A little spooky dookie. I sure wonder who that is. If only I didn't know of the existence of the welfare servant, but oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. Cool. So, we will, if there's maintenance, I swear to God. If there's maintenance, I'm going to cry. Let's see. Please don't be. Please don't be. Please. No, you're not going to do this to me. Good. Whew. Whew. You scared me. It's my weekend. Let me play my... Let me play my video games. Please. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right. We're going to have to... Okay, that's that's the same one. We did that already. Skip, skip. We did it. I said we did it. Thank you. So. Going back to the beach here, huh? Intermissiori. Intermissiori. Yori. Wow, we're getting him early, I guess, huh? God, apparently he's a hidden five star. I am so excited for Yori. He is apparently so broken. He is a can do anything sort of character. Wait, what? Ray shift. What are we doing? Oh, Habitrot's here. Hey, you sure we should have ray shifted here without asking? Oh. No one will mind. The path was already open. If they did not wish anyone to take it, they should have indicated as much with a no trespassing sign. I guess. I can't imagine there are many servants who could force their way in like Morgan did, though. Ah oh, well, it's still a fun walk. Hmm. Whoa, look, something just grew out of the ground. It grew? This must be one of these con we have been hearing about. Hmm. Looking at it in disgust. I'm a little embarrassed. Are they fairies? No, I don't think they are. Well, there goes my theory. Oh well. I suppose I can abide them so long as they are not caterpillars. Once again, if you know the story of where she hates caterpillars from, it's the worst. So you... Hmm, the scale on this is interesting. Habitrot's size, though, it feels like changes depending on all the time. <laughs> you're no cat, but you're pretty cute, too. You're nice and squishy, not too light, and you've got some meat on your bones. Hold, Habitrot. Well, why are you looking at me like that? You're not dangerous, you know. I have an interest in them with in connection with Magecraft. Let me hold that, too. Okay. Wait. Oh, there's two of them. Is it actually, like, real connection and real interest? Or is that just an excuse to want to hold on to them? Okay. We're still here. Again, another leader. Another one who's, uh, you know, who can commands a legion. Can't seem to fall asleep. What's that strange light? Huh? Oh. Good to see you again, my spirits. What's your report? Nothing unusual to speak of, huh? I see. Mm, good work. We must keep sharp, especially right after a victory. So tonight, I want you to remain on guard and continue patrols of the perimeter, and keep an especially close eye on the border between our territory and the enemy- Huh? Hey, good evening. What's up? What are you doing up? 
Uh, just I can't sleep. You know what happens when I dream. Uh, I didn't know you doing all this from behind the scenes. Uh, this is so embarrassing. This is why I was keeping it to myself. I mean, how does it look for the Queen of Kerr to behave like a neurotic worry wart? I think it looks great. You're working for us. It's so unfair. Why do you always see right through me? Probably because we've been through so much together. I didn't know what that first one was. And yeah, Christmas in the other world. It's canon. Right? This is a canon event now that it's been added back in. This one had a good ending. I quite enjoyed that event. This is who I am. The dark ruler of the underworld. It's my only job. The only thing I've ever known. I know I'm here now to help you, but sometimes I wonder what kind of help I can even offer. I thought about it a lot, but in the end, I can only do what I can do. So I'm out here at night, quiet as death itself, commanding my Galu spirits alone. But you're doing it that you're doing that because you felt it was necessary, right? So thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. I wouldn't have known. I w know you wouldn't have done it if you didn't feel you had to. You're welcome, but it hasn't been of any real help. I guess I knew it wouldn't be from the start, though. What's strange is, I knew there wouldn't be a point in doing it, but I can't help but send out my spirits anyway. I guess because there's just something strange in the air around these islands, it's kind of... Ah, uh, no, never mind. Like I said, there's something about nighttime here that reminds me of Kerr. So quiet. Not a human to be seen. The only residents are completely innocent. Maybe I couldn't sleep because I'm homesick. And maybe I couldn't relax unless I did something familiar. That's how it feels anyway. I have to protect powerless beings who live in dark, quiet places. That's just the kind of goddess I am. So, um... So my point is, you don't have to say or do anything about my working out here alone at night. It's not a big deal at all. So never mind me. You need to be up early tomorrow, right? So back to bed. Yeah, hurry up. If the heat's bothering you, I can send a spirit to give you more than enough chills. Yeah, no thanks. I'd rather not have any nightmares, thank you. Yes, yes, whatever you say. See you tomorrow then. Is she gonna be all blushy about? Oh my god, I said that to him. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, we did it! I knew it! I knew it! He really startled me. Why do you have to show up out of nowhere like that? I mean, the two of us alone at night? My heart can only take so much. Still, it was nice to talk to him alone again. It's been so long since we had that chance. A genuine smile. What a, what a truly nice person that makes every single day Ishtar seem worse and worse. It blows my mind how everyone's like, yeah, Ishtar, yeah, she's the better one. It's like, no, let's be real here. Let's be real. Ishtar is kind of a horrible person. Biting bunyips. Is it? Uh, what's a. I've heard the phrase bunyip before. Is that like an Australian legend or something? I think so. I only know. I don't, that sounds Australian. What was that noise? Damn, it's no use. I appreciate you assembling those simple drones. Oh! We're using drones? And using them to scout the area for us, Tanner. But both magecraft-based and scientific-based sensors are getting cut off the moment they enter the fog across the sea. We still don't have any way to observe the outer areas of the islands. Unfortunately not. I've been gathering other kinds of data, but the actual positions of the islands is as elusive as ever. Is it going to be like a wandering sea thing where it's like in an alternate sort of parallel, you know, world off the texture? We still can't see any of the stars at night, and the data on water quality doesn't match any location in our database. But, I guess there's no need to be hasty. Why don't you head back to the village? I'll start coming up with a way to use leftover drones later. Besides, we have some other things to discuss with Haiba Trung. Hi, Elder. Hello. Mm. Who might you be again? You do seem familiar, but, uh, oh, I know, you're that giant who holds up the sky, right? Nope, just me, Tanner. Oh, I'm just kidding. Few things are more incomprehensible than an elderly person's joke. But never mind that. Where are the high butt trung? 
I think they're somewhere in the village. Waha! Bosses and bus bosses and the same place as always! I'll take you! That's okay, we know where it is. Well, okay, why not? Lead the way, please. Yeah, let them do something. They like to feel important. Hey, you're supposed to knock before you enter a dressing room. Stop coming in here uninvited. Hmm? Is everything okay? Something seems off. Oh. I know I keep saying this, but I'm so relieved. This is so nice, I can't seem to stop smiling. Oh man. Sister is so cute when she's lounging on the floor. I want to give her a big hug. Seriously, for a while I had no idea how things were going to turn out. I... No, I'm not really cut out to be a king or a leader or anything like that. I hate giving orders, and I've never been confident in my abilities. I wish someone else would take over and... No, I can't think like that. I started this. It's my responsibility to see it through. I can't take it anymore. I just have to hug you, so I'm going to... My dear sister, you're so kind and earnest. It's what I love about you. Mm? Oh, Nee, you're so clingy whenever you're alone. There, there. Oh, now our elephants are hugging too. Hugging us too. <laughs> maybe they think it's a game? Or maybe they're just jealous? Are we going to not learn about what's the elephant steal? I don't... Oh! Oh, they don't even know. You're so cute. I still don't know what you are exactly, but thank you for being with me. And thank you for being with me too, Nee. I love you all so much. Is there room for Jesus in this cuddle puddle? Are we playing stick together? I want to play too. Are you here too, Con? I love you all too. What in the world are you doing? Okay, but yeah, if we walk if if we walked in on this, that'd be a, be a little strange. Be a little straight and be like, what's going on in here? Hello, everyone. Please come right in. I take it you're here to discuss the next part of our strategy. <laughs> That's how you are in private. Um, I wouldn't say that necessarily. I know I'm a leader here, and I do feel like I need to take that role seriously. So if it ever seems like I'm not taking my leadership role seriously or I'm slacking off, I assure you, you're just um imagining things, and so I'd appreciate it if you just uh forgot it. That's how you feel, consider it forgotten. Oh. Anyway, you're here to talk about which area we need to attack next, right? Yes, I think we're ready to move on now. We can still use the weapons we made for the con last time, right? Will they make things a lot easier? Hard to say, really. The water monsters in the next area are very, well, very strong. That's their most defining feature. Or at least that's how they seem to us the f for a few times we fought them. There may be more to them than that, but we couldn't tell what. So what did they look like? Well, um, kind of like alligators and dogs, but neither all at once. Ah, <sighs> so they're animals of some sort. Guess I'll try sketching them out again. If strength is their main quality, can we simply overwhelm them by being stronger still? Surely there can be no more than that to consider. So we will go and fight them ourselves. And once we have thoroughly weakened them with our overwhelming power, the Khan can come in with their weapons and stab at the end. I just hope it's that easy. Do not say things like that, you Ming Yang Yang. It's bad luck. Spending all that time in a dark cave underground has made you such a downer. At any rate, I've already got new helpers uh, all ready to go. Let's make sure we're ready for anything before heading out. We don't have an Australian servant, do we? There's that one, but they're not in the game yet. And when they will be, I'm not looking forward to that fallout. Oh boy. I've heard all about that. Yep. There's a lot to go in with that, and I'm not looking forward to the potential problems that come from it. There was already enough for when it was in Japan. Wait till it's in North America. And that is why I, Nagao Kagatora, the Avatar Bishomantin, came from Ichigo to this strange land. Yep, Kagatora here is both a powerful fighter on her own and a strong enough leader to manage the Khan. In addition, given what we saw with the hermit crab monks, we thought this island might be near the coastal waters of Japan, and reason that another Japanese servant might have knowledge that would prove useful. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but honestly, I have no idea if I can see through monsters' defenses. So whatever the circumstances, the goal remains the same. Any decent warrior should be able to defeat any monster they face. 
Anyway, I take it you're the general leading the charge here? Yes, I am. You seem like a very capable fighter. I'm glad to have you on our side. So I hear you're a rebellion king. I can't say I have many fond memories of the rebellions in my domain, but hey, what's done is done, right? <laughs> right. That's the emptiest laugh I've ever heard. We'll be in enemy territory soon. Stay sharp. I'm so excited for Super Kagatora. Oh, the watering hole, huh? Shh. Look, you can see them over there. Oh, frick. Yeah, it's the dog gator. So those are the water monsters from this area. They certainly look as horrifying as you described. What do you think, Kagatora? Do they seem at all familiar to you? Hmm... Nope. In fact, I'm pretty sure those aren't Japanese monsters at all. Really? Well, at least according to my Bishomintan intuition. Still, they do seem like they put up a good fight. Let's see what they've got. To battle. Meow! A cat. Where? Oh my god, right. Hey, what kind of blood-curling war cry is that? I will torture you again if, if myself if you do that again. <laughs> Battles all about momentum. Kill them! She's already started. Oh, I guess there's no turning back now. The time being, our plan is the same as before. You all stand back and keep an eye on things so we've worn them down. You got it, boss boss. I'll be watching. I'll lead the charge. Ha! Whoa. Did it just teleport? No. It must be after. Tanner. Oh no, ah! Why you? Oh, they multiply? Yeah, there's a whole pack of them. Oh, their growls are so irritating. No! Ah! Yo! Yo, he parried! Yo, bro! Bro, hit that forward! You little... Oh, no, you you say... Oh, I, th I thought I thought bro just hit the... I thought he just jaywonged it. Thank you! You're welcome. Now back off and... No, on second thought, hold on to me. These things are fast. The, the, so fast, they look like they're teleporting. Nothing servants can't handle, though. There's nothing to grab onto with you. Okay, we'll let this one die. The problem is they're ignoring us and going after the con. Uh, this raider losses will be catastrophic. I agree. Please retreat for now, everyone. Okay. So we gotta train them to be fast, maybe? I'm sad. What was that? No water monster should be able to move that fast. I think there's both more and less to it than that. Huh? From what I could see, they weren't just moving fast, they were always moving towards someone. Put differently, they were never moving somewhere empty. Oh, they were using like Dante's like trick move where it's like you use it and then you teleport like right up to an enemy. Going further, if we think back to what these things were like before and after the creatures were eaten, it seemed like those monsters were looking at them very strangely. So I think their trick is that they can kill whatever they're looking at. And that just happens to manifest in such a way that it seems like they're moving really fast. I don't actually have any particular reason for thinking that. Just might be Shomantin intuition. No, I think that's entirely within the realm of possibility. Your sixth sense for combat is way too valuable to ignore. I agree. I was just searching the database for anything that matches that enemy. And I got one hit. An Australian water monster called the Bunyip. The entry isn't clear about what they look like but didn't say they couldn't resemble dogs or alligators. It also said they live near water. Their cries are very loud, and most notably, it said that anyone who meets their gaze dies. Period. So, maybe they can use... Uh, maybe they can sense when uh, someone looking at them and use their speed to make sure the prey doesn't escape. Okay, that may not be another Japanese water monster as we expected, but since we only had those crab monk things to go off of, I'm not surprised we missed the mark there. So for the time being, we should trust the information we've seen with our own eyes. If those creatures are in fact bunyips, then we'll need to think of a way to counteract their abilities. We definitely need to rescue the con they ate. So these monsters can tell when someone is attacking, is looking at them, and respond by attacking them at incredible speed, yes? Then why could we not just have the con keep their eyes closed? If they did, we'd just have to weaken the water monsters like before. Mm, I don't know if that'll work. An experienced heroic spirit warrior may be able to keep their eyes closed on a battlefield. But I can't suggest the Khan try to do the same. I'm sure these monsters can still move normally. They could just go after the Khan like they do any other predator. So they could target us with their super speed to get behind our backs. Then turn around and chow down on the Khan hiding behind us. Yep, I don't think there's any way to prevent them from going after the Khan. But that doesn't mean we're out of options. 
there's a very simple solution to a problem like this. Know what it is? Armor. That's right. Since we're already making armor for the con weapons for the con, we should be able to make some armor as well. And as long as that armor can withstand the bunyip's fangs, it'll buy us enough time to counterattack. Uh, so we just need to decide what kind of armor to make for them. Master, master, it's me, Ushiwakamaru. I overheard your discussion. What about Genji armor, like mine? It's sturdy, easy to move in, and most importantly, it's super cool. Sturdy? You're wearing nothing. You're barely wearing it. After all the fun Benke had, I couldn't sit around twiddling my thumbs. That damn Benke. Freezy tried to act like it was no big deal, then he tried to convince me I wouldn't like this battlefield. Never mind that, but had I been there, it would have been easy to send the enemy's underlings off a over a cliff. Anyway, there you have it, Master. You should join me in wearing a set of Genji armor yourself. I think she may have missed the mark about who this armor is supposed to be for. I propose we have with these creatures with the same equipment by Roman Legion Hazus. Glare helmets, Yorka cuirasses, uh, Scutum shields. That will clearly be the most practical choice, don't you think? And of course, it comes in gorgeous rose red colors. Rome! Well, as you can see, this planet has many vocal supporters. But for the record, they are no more than passing by with nothing to do with the presentation. Really, I was just as surprised as you. Can we make the Mecca? Can we make the Mecca? Don't be ridiculous. That's the most idiotic idea I've ever heard. You want more defense? Then obviously you need armor plating. That includes spaced armor, reactive armor, composite armor. Its countless variations can cover any scenario you need. I'll admit, additional plating can tend to look somewhat gaudy. But the best designers know how to fit the piece together to make you look your best. And of course, you need a fancy purge system. Yes, you do! When you have to go out, you should do it with a bang. There certainly aren't a lot of options, aren't there? Personally, as long as the armor provides enough defense without sacrificing mobility, I don't care what we use. And just like we did with Khan's weapons, I think we should have Master decide which to go with. You're giving me the option of a mecha, and you're you're not going to let me... We're doing mecha. We're doing mecha. The purge system is sick. Being able to just like, oh, I need more speed, and then psh, the armor flies off. Hopefully we have enough. Oh, we super don't. Right? Because we only have Genji armor. Well, the good news is, that gives us an advanced quest. Which means I can do these and uh, get some stuff. So, for now, uh, I'm going to uh, stop recording momentarily. Uh, and when we do this, uh, we'll be back in just a second to uh, continue. All right, I got enough stuff, uh, and we can go between Genji armor, Roman armor, or Mecha armor. And who do you who who do you take me for? We're giving them freaking Mecha armor. Yeah, we're making them into little Mecha Con because of course. Oh, they use Wagahai. Huh, that's curious. It might might have just been for the Mecha thing, but that's a that's a pretty high and mighty. That's, that's, uh, I Am A Cat uses that. Huh. Oh my god! Shiny! This is too cool! Waha! Transform, combine, I can do it all! Who the hell do you think we are? You saw me! Beautiful. What a wonderful sight. Well, nothing may ever top the value production of the unique first run model. Mass production has its undeniable charms. After all, goods exist to fulfill needs. Okay, all that's left now is the final quality assurance check. Fire. You're rocket punching the con? What do you think you're doing? Don't worry, I adjusted my power output accordingly. This is just a standard durability test. <laughs> I am the fucking strong! That tickles! Was that a dragonfly? The durability seems sufficient. That constitutes a passing grade. This should be more than sufficient to stand up to a mere water monster's fangs. I, you, you can probably hear my smile. This is so silly. Jeez, you scared us. 
Give us a little warning next time, will you? Anyway, it's great that this armor is tough, but isn't it also very, very heavy? I mean, it's steel, right? That won't be a problem. The armor is both durable and maneuverable. It's a fusion of novel materials and technology. I call it New Elisa Al- Actually, let's keep that a trade secret. Wow. I've never heard of armor being both sturdy and light before. I guess things have come a long way since our time. Uh, trust me, this kind of thing isn't common in this time either. I see. It's a shame, though. I would have liked to include even more gadgets if I could. Missiles, laser, ultra Elisa particle cannons. I'm not sure what half those words means, but please don't add anything too dangerous. I know they have no choice but to fight, but the con are still... Well, I agree. We don't want to give them anything too destructive. They just need to be able to defend themselves. I know that. I was just mentioning what my perfect specs would look like in an ideal world. Anyway, the con are definitely sufficiently protected to go on the attack now. All that's left is take those water monsters down. Good luck, guys. All right. Let's bite these bunyips in the buns. Will they actually have a unique battle sprite? Have we fought dogs? I mean, I guess they could reuse um, what they used for Ryder uh, Carmilla and just kind of turn that into a thing. The battle to reclaim area two. And then give us uh, more grinding stuff is going to be welcome. That's what we're trying to do. Trying to give me something to do in my spare time. Throw my feet up on the couch. Ryan on my phone. That's the dream, baby. I love video games. You've seen us. All right, let's do just like we planned. I'll keep Tanner safe for now. I'm in danger. Got you. As we thought, these creatures are still too fast to dodge, but thanks to this armor, they can no longer devour a con in a single bite. If anything, now trying to bite the con stops them in the tracks and gives us a perfect opportunity for a counterattack. I'm sorry to be using them a little more than bait, but this is our best chance to take these creatures out. Oh, don't worry about it. Facts are facts. They don't care about your feelings. Anyways, if they change tactics and start coming after us instead of the con, we can just drive them off. <laughs> there is no, no longer anything we need to fear. And it's all thanks to you making the con's armor, Tanner. This has been a huge help. We never could have solved this problem on our own. Uh, save your thanks to Claudia's as clothiers. Oh, oh, hi, Miss Crane. Oh, no, not at all. I may not be used to this kind of work, but it was very educational. Besides, these may not be idle costumes, but they're still, <laughs> they're still very cute. <laughs> Just look how well they fit their little bodies. By the way, I love your outfits too. They're simple and very stylish. I hope let me, uh, you'll let me take a closer look at them later. Oh, are you the one that give them the stylish redos? Me, I'm always glad to cut my walk short if it means doing needlework like this. Besides, I might run into a bride one day who wants to wear a metal wedding dress. That, that must exist. That must exist. And if that happens, this will be a great learning experience. All right. Let's keep an eye on the con and wear these things down until they can finish them off. It's just like our first battle. But our opponents here are going to make the first move, so we'll need to be able to react accordingly. That means we'll need to stay in, in sync more closely than ever, Nii. I know. But don't worry. Knowing us, we just can't be out of sync. Alright. What type are they? Oh, they're just... They're, they're, they're Zerkers? That means anything works. Anything goes. Let's see, what do we got? I can use Miss Crane. It's kind of nice they're giving you all of the options, though, right? Just being able to go, yeah, use whoever. You are super roided up. Why not? You might be fun. All right, let's do this. I'm not worried about some berserkers. Pshaw, we can beat them up real easy. Also, I fixed my chair in between the parts, obviously. Grabbed a screwdriver, put it in. God, I need a new one. Might need to ask for where, where my co-worker got his. Oh, they don't get a unique sprite at all. They're just the regular dudes. Well, that's fine. I kind of was expecting that, honestly. Um, Let's see. Probably best just go... Just this for now. 
see, they yell Gatai too. Like, that's their whole thing. They're all about that combination. Alright. Is this one turn? One left, okay. Get some of these on you then. Is that not going to kill? I was going to say. At level 100, you should be able to do that. Okay. Um, just kill you. So let's just go with this. This. Right, and, uh, sure. Critical resistance is nice. That has use. Actually, you know, let's get some stars, too. Yeah. We got more stars, and it kind of lost some stuff, but it's fine. Worth it for that. All right. Swagger Defense Sound Curse. Less scary than Swagger in Pokemon, that's for sure. Swagger in Pokemon is not a problem. This is fine. Uh, let's go. One, two, three. Right? Hit them all. Then we can uh, move on to the next one. Okay. I was going to say this will kill, right? With how strong they are? Yeah. One left. Okay. Let's do this. Big damage. Big damage. Thank you. Oh, there's more battles. I was blind. Huge bunyip. I should have hold, hold on to more stuff. Oh, well. Creepy cries curse. I did not even realize there was more battles. Oh, well. Not that big a deal. Let's do these here. Okay. You got a bunch there. Oh, we broke the gauge already. I didn't even notice. Swallow hole. Uh-oh. Cool. All right. Um, I forget how much you give to people, but let's do on you here. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All right. All things considered, very low HP amounts. Look at that damage. Oh my goodness. Yay, we did it. Yeah, having Crane make these clothes makes a lot of sense, and boy, it looks just so much better. The colors, moi, beautiful. Okay. Let's beat back the bunyips. Splendid. Now that is resolve. Very well then. Gallop. Hosho Tsukige. Bishomantin's protector is with us. Bishomantin's eight aspect rotating formation. Brrr. Now, both flanks charge. They're just going in and stabbing them. Huzzah! <laughs> well done. That was magnificent. Looks like that was the last bunyip, which means... Mission accomplished. Way to go, everyone. Not the most elegant show ever since the outfits were changed, but I guess it went well enough. Oh, yes. 
and we managed to rescue all the Khan that got eaten too. I think we can safely say we've reclaimed this territory for the Bunyip, and peace has returned. But we can't let this success go to our heads either. Now that things are changing, we'll have to be more. We'll, we'll, now that things are changing, we'll have to be more wary of. Of, of what? Wait, what? That's a weird sentence. We'll have. Oh, we'll have more to be wary of. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just because we got rid of the water monsters now doesn't mean new ones won't take their place. It's great that we've expanded the safe zone, but it also means we have that much more territory to watch over. Indeed, as they say, the larger the land, the harder it is to defend. At least for most people. I, on the other hand, was the great re Empress Regent, R Regnant? Regnant, who unified all of China's massive territory perfectly. I know what you mean. It's so hard to watch over the entire underworld all by myself. The Galu spirits can help, but they can't change the fact that my workload only goes up, not down. True. We'll need to think about how to keep all this territory safe once things have settled down. But for now, our first priority is setting up patrols and investigating this area. I'll arrange more helpers for that. In the meantime, why don't you guys head back to your base for a well-earned break? You have some coconut juice ready to celebrate, right? Man, that sounds delicious. I'm sure there's coconuts in the Caldia storeroom. Uh, this may not be as good as my usual post-victory cocktail, but this coconut juice is alright. Hmm? What is... What are you doing? You've been skulking about for a while now, haven't you? But I know why. Go on, let's have it. Here. I, I, I got this for you. Oh, this is a beautiful flower. I used to think these kinds of straightforward displays of support were silly, but now... Mm, I like them. Thank you, shy one. So you're a fan, hmm? Oh, I can't blame you. Even the con might be, must be enthralled by my bright, shining star... Yeah, but like, maybe not. Huh? This is a thank you. You saved me twice. Without you, I would have been monster chow. Twice? Oh. Yeah. First time there. Yeah. We did note that. So you're that con. I can't really tell you apart, so I didn't know. Me saving you twice was just a coincidence, but hey, these things happen. The important thing is that you're still alive. So here, it's to thank you. You're so pretty, Lamb Lamb. Oh yes, I'll happily take the flower. Presents from fans are as precious to me as jewels. I'll cherish it. <laughs> these things are no leviathans, but they're still pretty cute. Here, it's not much, but let me thank you for your thank you. I had a spare ribbon in my parka pocket. Come here. Um, I'm not too good with my hands, but I should at least be able to manage this. Oh! Yo! Uh, uh-oh! Looks like this guy's now gonna be poison type, am I right, fellow Pokemon gamers? There. Now I can tell you apart from the others. Are we gonna get into, like, as soon as we introduce individuality among these people... It's going to cause them to kill each other or something. Consider it a bonus for being the first member of my fan club on this island. Much more practical than blowing you a kiss, right? Wahoo! This is great! Thanks! Yes, yes, you're welcome. Is it is it going to be going down the path of, like, as we introduce, as, as we evolve them forward, we're going to bring ruin to their society? Is this a microcosm? thing like an experiment that's kind of where i'm going with this but we'll see we'll see what happens st quartz get okay they're still using waga high which is really interesting rescue from big mouth i don't want to do this mission i don't want anything to do with big mouth yucky stinky all right, though, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Orders. We continue on with our uh, Water Monster Crisis event here. We'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao. Yo.